Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 3, lesson number 1. Our first question here is Priya jogs at a constant speed. Relationship between her distance and time is shown on the graph. Diego bikes at a constant speed twice as fast. Sketch a graph showing the relationship between Diego's distance and time. So we know Diego is going twice as fast. So there are a few points on here that are pretty easy to figure out. Even if he's going twice as fast, after zero hours, let me use a different color for Diego. But that still looks black. There we go. After zero minutes, he's still gone zero miles. Anytime I'm looking at something like this, I want to find nice points to work with. In 0.2 hours, he's gone, or Priya has gone one mile. If Diego's going twice as fast, he will go twice as far. So in 0.2 hours, instead of going one mile, he'll go two. If in 0.4 hours, Priya's gone two, Diego will go four. In 0.6 hours, Priya's gone three, so Diego will go six. In 0.8 hours, Priya's gone four, so Diego will go eight. Twice as fast just means these heights are double. Okay, next question here. A U-Pick blueberry farm offers six pounds of blueberries for sixteen fifty. Sketch a graph between the relationship. Sketch a graph of the relationship between cost and pounds of blueberries. So six pounds is sixteen fifty. Six pounds is sixteen fifty. That's kind of hard to get too too exact on here. Something like that. How about? different amounts. Six pounds, well, zero dollars for zero pounds. You don't buy any blueberries, you don't spend any money. Um, what about if we bought 12 pounds of blueberry? We'd have to double this. 12 pounds of blueberries would be Thirty-three dollars. Twelve pounds of blueberries, thirty-three dollars, something like that. What about a nice number? What if we bought thirty pounds of blueberries? That would be nice on this axis, 30 pounds, well, 6 times 5 is 30, 16.5 times 5 is 82 and a half, so 30 pounds of blueberry, 30 pounds of blueberries, 82 dollars and 50 cents, that's going to be somewhere around here, you should use a ruler for this, ta-da! Beautiful graph. Okay, next question. 
A line contains the points negative 4, 1 and 4, 6. So decide whether or not each of these points is also on the line. Easiest way to do that? Find the equation of the line. First thing we got to do is find the slope. This goes from negative 4, 1 to 4, 6. So slope, we remember, is rise over run from 1 to 6, our rise is 5. From negative 4 to positive 4, our run is 8. So our slope is 5 eighths. Equation of the line we've been using, we know 5 eighths has to equal y minus a y point over x minus the x value of that point. x subtract negative 4 is x plus 4. So there's our equation of the line. Now we just have to plug in these values. 3.5 minus 1 would be 2.5 over x plus 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. 2.5 over 4. Double both of those, and that's 5 over 8. Is that point on the line? Yes, it is. 12, 11. Plug it in. Y minus 1 is 10 over X plus 4 is 16. 10 over 16, does 10 over 16 equal 5 over 8? Half of both of those is 5 over 8. That one passes the test. 80 over 50. Plug it in, y minus 1 is 49 over x plus 4 is 84. 49 over 84, that one might be a little trickier to do in your head. Let me bring back my good friend the calculator and do 49 divided by 84. Point five eight three five divided by eight. Well, that's not even close to the same thing. Go away. So we want it to be point six two five because that's five eighths. So that's not equal to five eighths. Our next one here, y minus one. 2.875 minus 1 is 1.875 over x plus 4. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. You want to do this one in your head? I don't. 1.875 divided by 3. Hey, that's the same thing. That is 5 eighths. So A, B, and D work. C is a big fat no. How big can I make this so we can see it nicely? Okay. The points, 2, negative 4, X, Y, A, and B all lie on a line. Find an equation relating x and y. Ooh, this is kind of like what we were just doing. Equation of this line. So first we have to find the slope. What's the slope of this line? Hey, I see the rise there and the run there. Uh, 
Our slope is 3 over 4. That has to equal because this and this are short side short. This is the short side of this triangle. This is the short side of this triangle. Medium side of that triangle, medium side of that triangle. These have to be similar to each other. So equivalent ratio of side lengths, three over four, which is this one, has to equal y minus this y value gives us this height. y minus negative four, subtracting a negative is adding, y plus four, over x subtract two to give us that value, x subtract let me make a 2 that looks like a 2. 3 fourths equals y plus 4 over x minus 2. Beautiful equation of a line. That's our last problem. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching. See you next time.